Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to my first video of my basic Python tutorial series. Today we will go over basic variable types and data structures. So the first variable type that I want to teach you is a string. Okay, so how we make a string. No, so basically a string is like a string of characters and numbers, any characters like A, B, C, they can also be numbers, or one, two, three. So the way we make strings with quotes, but they're usually stored in variables. So to make it, we do the name of the variable, put a space, then we do equals and space again. And then you do single quotes or double quotes. It doesn't really matter because there isn't really a difference. So in here, um, the name of my string will be, no, not the name, the, my string will be hello world. Okay. And then the next variable type that I want to teach you guys is the integer variable type. So basically an integer, are, integers are like any number, any, any number that is um, not a decimal, doesn't have a decimal. So basically, like y is equal to our integer will be 10. It can't be 10.1 or 10.2, it has to be 10. And even 10.0 is also considered a float because it it's a decimal, it's considered a float. So if you want decimals, you're gonna have to make another variable type, make another variable so it's a float. So the name of this one will be z. And this one will be called 10 point, let's say five. So right now, when you run the code, nothing prints out. You can't see anything. So the way you print out a string or any of the variables is print, and then parentheses, the name of the variable, x. And then you run, you get hello world. You can do the same thing for integers. Let's print 10, and floats. Okay, so let's say you want it to print the string, and then you also want to print the the integer right after it, like on the same line. So the way you'd want to do this is you have two ways of doing this. So the first way of doing this is doing so you put the string variable, and then you do plus, and then when you do a plus, um, when you do plus to an integer it'll automatically think that you're trying to add something, but you're not trying to do that. So first you have to convert it to a string by using str parentheses y. And then you run the code and it says hello world 10. So the second way you could do this is by putting a comma and then you do str y. And then you run it again. It's the same thing. Hello world 10. Okay. So those are the basic variable types. The next thing I want to go over is the basic um, data structure. So a data structure, one data structure is a list. A list is basically a collection of like strings, integers, and floats. So it's so it's also going to be a variable. So um, the name of this variable will be a. It's going to equal to. Um, we have to put um, brackets here, and then so um, you can do strings. One string that do this like um, um, high, and then the next thing I could do is like. Um, hello, no, I forgot to do the quotes, hello, and then you can also put integers, like, um, like, two, two, and then you can also put variables and floats, so like, you do 2.3, and then some floats, uh, no, some variables, so we can do like y, and z, so each each indice is separated by commas, and um, in a um, in a list, each index uh, no the indexes start at zero, and then one, and then two, and then three, four, and then five. It doesn't start at one; it starts at zero. So you can also print out a list. You do print, 
do the name of the variable of the list, and then you run the code. See? Okay. Yep. Okay, and also, some basic things you can do with list is adding to a list. So, first, command Z. So, I need to show you, like, how it changes. So, A, and then let's say you want to, like, change A. You want to add something. So, so the method you use is append. So append basically adds a new thing to the list. So what do we want to append? Let's say we want to append like, um, um, how are you doing today? Okay, and then we'll print out A again after it's been updated. So let's see, it prints it out twice, but the second time it adds this. So let's say we want to remove it again. So, um, so the first thing we would do is like, um, so, um, the method is called remove, and then you do parentheses, and then what we like to remove? We like to remove how are we doing today? So let's just copy this and paste it in here, and we'll print out A again. Let's run it again, and see, it removes it. So what if we didn't know the, the exact way this was spelled or something? So then we would have to find the index. Now you could use the index. So the way of removing something with an index is by um, is using a method called dot pop. So pop, oh, pop here, pop, you do dot pop and then you put parentheses and you do the index. So, so here, um, the index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's the sixth one. So that'll basically just remove it and give the same output. See, exact same output. And um, I think that'll be all for this video. I'll see you next time.